Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Wrestle. I managed to find one at Maxed Emblems, and it looks like the Max Attack Path. Um, so this is one of the more um, anticipated Heroes of the Month. Oh, by the way, getting sick, so excuse the uh, sick noises, if you will. Got an obligation for bringing the content to you guys, so we're going to do it no matter what. Um, so yeah, Russell was a hero that was more interesting than some of the others because of the first line in his text, special skill never misses its targets. So the idea being that heroes like Wukong or Ranveer that give a massive attack buff but a chance to miss won't have the same effect on him and theoretically, I can't remember where this landed but I'm pretty sure this is correct, that um, his hit cannot be dodged as well. Hey guys, just a quick reminder that if you've ever been interested in checking out Gemstone Legends, they're about to host a contest for brand new players. So this is the time to join. Um, they just held a contest recently for, new, for existing players where you could win an iPhone 13 Pro or Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. They're gonna offer those same prizes again, but this contest is exclusive for new players. So that means you're only competing with other brand new players, people that are downloading right at the time of the contest. So your chances of winning those prizes as a new player are exceptionally good. They're also offering $100 gift cards for second and third place with, I think, some random drawings throughout. Um, so make sure that you don't download before the contest starts. I'll do an official announcement of the contest itself and that's when you'll want to click on the link provided or scan the QR code that I provide um, so you can download it and that will immediately make you eligible for the contest. And then all you gotta do is kill it and you can win one of the best phones on the planet. So stay tuned for those announcements. Make, you, make sure you're subscribed. I think I'll post about it in a community post as well. Um, but yeah, if you've ever been curious, now is the perfect time because just for playing the game and being diligent about it you can win a brand new <laughs> nice ass smartphone so um stay tuned for more on that i just wanted to cover that opportunity because i think it's a really great game but this is the best time to join ever so yeah make sure you are standing by to look for the link that i provide because that will be your entrance into the contest as well as the download link so um, hopefully you guys check that out. I highly recommend it. And let's get to the video. So the other cool thing going on, well, we'll look at this real quick. Average speed, 350% damage to the target. Target and nearby enemies receive 309 burn over three turns, which will go up with troops. Um, Element link gives 10% increase for healing. Not that great, but his passive is really cool. This hero gains 5% mana each time an enemy receives burn damage. So if he's landing it for three turns, that's going to be 15% per turn, total of 45% mana gained over those three turns. And if you're using him on offense with synergies like Jean-Francois, Gravemaker, or um, I don't know, any of the other heroes that give fire damage, he's going to gain mana from that as well. So... Theoretically, there is the possibility that in the right synergies, you could be doing very high damage without him missing and charging up his mana pretty quickly, but that will take a little bit of work to do. Personally, that amount of work is not really worth it for um, my own roster and ascending this guy, so he would not be my own personal choice, but I think he is a better hero of the month, and that is something to celebrate. So, other passive, innate resistance against status ailments that affect attack. He's a wizard, so he'll do extra damage um, based on buffs. And so, in this team, uh, he's not really being used to his full potential. Um, the chance to... or the hero doesn't miss thing is not being used unless they're anticipating I'm bringing dodge with me. Um, and there's no other burn damage here, so... Let's just see what his hit looks like. 350% should be at that level low 600s. 
I believe, which is nothing crazy. Um, and then we'll see what the burn damage is like. But um, he was more anticipated, so I do want to show... do want to put this information out there for people who are looking for it. All right. Start over here. Uh, the race to get purple's charge before Krampus goes off appears to be successful. Wow, two tiles was enough. Nice. All right, so we'll take whoa. We'll take some of these heroes out just so we can focus on Russell. Uh, I do not want to use Kingston though. So let's just try to do it with the tiles only. All right. So slowly charging up here. Average speed, you can feel the difference. Um, and on offense, obviously, you'll want to try to have a level 23 troop if you can manage it. That will make him a lot more usable, but that is a bigger goal to achieve. And I know that it took me a little while to get to that point. All right, Russell, you're all alone. What do you got? All right, Kingston is immune. So, okay, I was a little bit off. Low 700s. Um, as you probably know, there is some variability in the damage calculation. So that could go that could be on the higher end, for example. Burn damage is 135 per turn, which is what 390, 405 over three turns. So that's pretty respectable. It's also with a level 30 troop and um, and full emblems. So keep that in mind as well. And let's look at his mana gain here. So I don't think he's getting it for Kingston. So he's only getting it for two heroes um, because Kingston is immune to burn. So he's not gaining the mana there, but that's going up very quickly. So where do I think he fits in? Um, or who do I think he's useful for? And we'll get another hit out of him too. Um, I think he's going to be most useful for people that don't have a ton of heroes and are looking for decent heroes to level up. I think he's going to be good for that. I don't think he's a bad hero by any means whatsoever. Um, or for people that like putting together very cohesive synergies because you can maximize his abilities with the right pairings. Like say you have a Ranvir with emblems on it. You have a Jean-Francois with emblems. This guy's going to be really strong in that synergy if you can keep him alive. So it could be one of those things where because he has cool mechanics at play, um, I can see people wanting to level him just because that's what they find fun about the game, is trying to maximize some of these mechanics. All right, so one more hit. Come on, buddy. Do my best to keep you alive here. Um... All right, different target, 724. Okay, that's not bad. Um, it will be lower on offense because there, as far as I know, is still a defensive bonus. I don't know what it is these days because um, they were saying that they're going to be adjusting it. So now you can see the difference in mana gain uh, versus before where I don't have any burn damage on me. So that's pretty much what I want to show for Russell. We got to see the um, power of his hit, the um, mana, the mana gain in action, how high this burn damage can go, which is pretty solid. 135, I think it was, is pretty nice. It's not massive. It'd be cool if it did more damage to green or something like that, um, but that might be asking for too much for a hero of the month. So... Yeah, hopefully this helps you decide if he is worth it for you. Obviously, if you are limited in your options, then, and especially if you have the emblems for him, then I'm sure you can make him work. 
you'll just want to keep those considerations about team synergy in mind. And yeah, that's that. So um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.